how do you feel when you see the latest flat earther video or something out there? And I, I mean, I don't know how you feel about flat earth, but, uh, but <laughs> it's you know, probably you, not right. okay, it's probably not right. So when you see that, but you also see that there are conventions and movies and actual pockets of people in this world that believe something based on, let's be honest, a piece of media that was created with the new technology of YouTube right. that probably would have never existed, like you said, with the old right. ways. How does, I mean, how does that make you feel? Or well, what? you know, there were always people who believed crazy things, True. right? You know, True. Uh, but the the flat earth thing in particular is not the thing that bugs me more than anything. Like, I, there's like, it's kind of harmless. I don't know. I mean, they still fly in airplanes. Like, they, they manage to get around, right? Um, there are there's much greater harms out there, I think. And I think that it's very interesting that you know, as good as physics is and technology is, uh, psychology and sociology are bad in the sense that they're much harder to understand the human mind and how people talk to each other than it is to understand electrons and atoms, okay? Yeah. So we're beginning to learn about motivated reasoning, cognitive biases, filter bubbles, and things like that. And we're realizing how easy it is for people to be misled by information. You know, there's a this study that is kind of hilarious where politics makes you bad at math. <laughs> like you can give people a word problem in math and you know, people who are good at math get it right and people who are bad at math get it wrong. But if you phrase the word problem in a politically charged language, make it about gun control or abortion, people who are really good at math become bad at it. They're not able to answer exactly the same problem because it conflicts with their political ideologies, oh, right? No. And what do you do about that? I'm not exactly sure, but at least we, now we know there's the problem. I guess we're learning more about it. All yeah. of that IP used to be reserved for religious institutions and cults and things like that. They would use it really well. Well, Mad Men, you know, like there was yeah. always the uh, advertising agencies. Uh, yeah. It's becoming a lot more scientific now. Yeah.